Hey guys, welcome back to Heiko Shaves. We're in a different bathroom, as you can tell. Uh, Heiko is in Germany. So me and my family, we went on a family vacation to visit my mom, my sister, family that I have here in Germany. And we're staying all at my mom's house. So this is a typical backdrop of a German bathroom. You know, uh, they usually tile walls sometimes all the way to the ceiling, kind of like a public bathroom where you have tiles all the way to the ceiling. Germans do that in their bathrooms too. Um, so that's why it looks different. Also, the camera is a little closer to my face because my mom has this massive, uh, uh, it's almost like a, um, uh, what's the cabinet, the English word, a, a medicine cabinet with multiple glass doors. And so it's it's off the wall a little bit. And since I'm always using a suction cup mount for my phone to film those videos, you're a little closer to my face now. Lighting is also different as you can tell, uh, but that shouldn't stop us from doing a shave. Um, my eight year old this morning told me, you gotta go shave um, and he's right. And uh, first when I went on the trip, I was worried that I'm not gonna have any content for you guys. I have a few uh, already pre-filmed shave videos that I still have on my hard drive at home, but that wouldn't be right. If I'm not at home, I can't you know, post those videos. So uh, I wanna do something here while I'm on a trip. And I, so I even went ahead and ordered a razor. Um, this is made by, uh, the name is Boca. A lot of English speakers would say Boca, but this, O with a two dots above it, uh, an umlaut, is an OE. If you would write it out as two letters, it would be an OE. So OE together makes up this letter. So the name is Böker. And Böker is a pretty traditional knife making company. They make cutlery, they make kitchen knives, they make all kinds of every sharp implement that you can think of, including um, razors, razors, so a quick little interruption. There are like six people in this house right now. Um, everyone is still jet lagged. Kids are still sleeping, even though it's like 10, 20 in the morning and we're trying to get them out of bed. Anyway, so I was worried that I'm not gonna have any shave gear with me. I, I took a little tech razor with me, which you guys have already seen. I did uh, a shave with this on my last trip to Taiwan. Here's this little canvas uh, khaki, kit with a little tech razor in it, but uh, I might not have to use any of my own shave gear that I brought because a channel supporter, Artur Gatzke here from Germany, he lives near Cologne in Germany, he sent me a huge package and we're gonna have to make a, not an unboxing video, but we have to make a video where we look at all those things. I mean, unbelievable. I didn't have to bring a razor. He, he provided everything. Everything is here. But since I already ordered this uh, Boca um, knife making company, uh, you guys probably all have heard of knives made in Zoling. Zoling is a town in Western Germany where there is a lot of tool and knife making. And um, I'm not 100% sure why there is such a concentration of all those factories because Mercur is located in uh, Zoling. GNF, um, uh, Gießen and F uh, GNF. I, I will add, annotate this up here. I keep forgetting the, the brand name, but they make razors. Uh, Wilkinson Sword is in Zoling. They manufacture razor blades. Um, and all kinds of tool making companies are all located in Zoling. And I'm as, uh, assuming that this uh, huge concentration of those knife and tool making companies are all there because they are pretty close to the mining areas where steel is made in Germany. So the Ruhr region in Germany has lots of mining, lots of steel production. And so, you know, right where the source is, is the tool making. And that's where a lot of those brand names, including Böker and Mercur are from. And uh, let's, let's look at it. It's nothing fancy, really. It was a $25. I don't even know if it's made in Germany, really, honestly. I mean, the packaging says Boker Manufacturing Zoling Rasierhobel. Uh, Rasierhobel is, is safety razor. Butterfly gunmetal gray. And it doesn't say made in. So they could potentially have their cheaper products made overseas just so they can slap their name on it. Really, honestly, I don't know. Packaging doesn't want to release the razor. And if you look at it, 
it looks like a Gillette Super Speed in gunmetal gray. So nicely knurled handle down here. It's not a flare tip like on a, on a Super Speed, but it has a twist to open. So that's pretty much it. And if you look at the design, it, it's really heavily inspired by Gillette. The center bar, the butterfly action, but really the manufacturing quality is really good. It's nice and shiny. So we're gonna use this. Um, did I actually pack razor blades? <laughs> See, good thing I brought my little khaki, khaki kit here. There is a silver blue, Gillette sil sil silver blue in here. We're gonna use one of those. And then uh, the rest that I brought was just little bits and pieces. Um, this little Parasol travel kit, which contains, you know, shaving cream, pre-shave, whatnot, all in there that we're not going to use today, but we need a razor blade. So what I want to use as soap is uh, Razor Emporium's own, or Rex Supply Company, I should say, 1955. Um, they brought that out, made in the US. It's just this tiny little sample pack that I threw into my toiletry bag and it's a soft not a cream but a soap but relatively soft as aftershave we're going to use the Parasol white aftershave balm where is it green oh it's the sensitive yeah so we're going to use that I brought my fine brush that looks like a ever ready brush and I have a I have this you know cat water bowl <laughs> or cat food bowl, collapsible shaving bowl that I bought off AliExpress. Someone pointed out to me that they sell exactly the same bowls for food, for cat food or for dog food, for little dogs to slow them down from eating too fast. Yeah, so apparently it's kind of the universal product. So let's uh, get some soap out of this little container and I'm just gonna scoop up some with my finger. I don't have a spoon or a guitar pick or, and we're just gonna smear some at the bottom here. And then we're gonna take our brush, get that wet. So like that, you know, the synthetic doesn't need to be pre-soaked. And then we're just gonna start lathering in here instead of in my face I know you guys like or appreciate that when I do that for those softer soaps because I usually mess up the lather pretty good I don't even know what the sound is in here it's, it's a lot of hard surface walls only a few towels hanging here and there so it might be pretty echoey but let's not drag it on any further so let's put some more water in my face Weather here in Germany is kind of, you know, fall, gray, rainy, kind of nasty a little bit. Um, you know, that's what weather is like end of November. Maybe a little bit more water. Okay. All right, let's do face lathering. Yeah, so this is first day. We just arrived here yesterday. And then we were trying to make it through the day to force us to stay up, to immediately get into the right sleeping rhythm to overcome, you know, the jet lag, whatnot. So we went to bed at o'clock last night. And then at four o'clock in the morning, the kids were all awake. It's like, yep, yeah, we, we slept enough now. So that was great. And then we made them to go to bed again, or go sleep again. And now they're still sleeping 10 o'clock in the morning, so. We need more water. Hmm. Not enough. So yeah, look for the next video. We're gonna do a full on uh, 
look at the products that Artur sent me. Pretty incredible. Of course, I couldn't wait, so I already broke it open. So let's get a razor blade out. The Gillette Silver Blue. I wonder where they are made. I'm gonna look at that by Proctor and Gamble. So here's a Proctor and Gamble blade. Here's a Boca Buca, as the German speaker would say, razor. Kind of like a Gillette Super Speed. Sorry guys, I don't have a good sink here. The sink drains even though the plug is in. All right, and we're gonna start shaving. Oh yeah, super mild. Kind of noisy, like a super speed. But, you know, like little tinny because of the cap here. But it gets the job done. Uh, where's the blade made? Made by Procter and Gamble. Made in doesn't say 2019 made in Russia so I have one of those St. Petersburg made Russian Gillette blades that's good I guess a lot of people are worried about it you know St. Petersburg uh, The razor blade production is going down but that might just only be temporary because of the war between Russia and the Ukraine there's a lot of uh, importation restrictions on stuff going into Russia and uh, Procter and Gamble might have a problem getting the right steel to their plant there in St. Petersburg. And uh, Procter & Gamble has uh, other manufacturing plants all over the world. So they're not gonna make, uh, they're not gonna stop making blades, but they might stop making blades in St. Petersburg. All right, let's get a little bit more leather here out of our bowl. I probably didn't put enough soap in the container but hey it's gonna do it. For our first shave in Germany this morning here I just want to get it done. I want to say hi to you guys. That's what it's all about. Checking out the Boca. Boca. Now I'm, I already speak like that all the time. You know what guys I'm gonna get a little bit more soap in this container. This is not enough. I don't like it. This is really kind of a fail here this morning. Sorry for that. And the fine brush is really not very stiff. The bristles are very floppy. I've always complained about that, but I decided to take it. It doesn't get much love at home. So I decided to put it in a, in a, a travel container, put it in my suitcase and take it. All right, so little better a little bit more so pretty pretty thin lava I gotta say but you guys don't hold it against me I didn't sleep much and it wasn't really quality sleep either because my kids decided to just wake everyone up at four o'clock in the morning here all right let's do Yeah, if you guys want to check out Buka razors, I'm not aware if they are actively selling those on the US market. They might be making razors for other brands. But uh, since I'm since I am German speaking, I just went on google.de, which is the German Google site. 
and just searched for German manufacturers and then saw this for like 25 euros free shipping and had it shipped to my mom's house and uh, now I have a German Böker razor and uh, I like it so uh, you know it's gonna go into the drawer with the Gillette because this is obviously very Gillette inspired um, yeah with a blade combination and the razor two pairs we have a pretty good result now I can step out the house yeah the soap is pretty thin I, I might have to try that again another day and uh, where's my towel? Here we go. So that's good enough for today. Just wanted to, you know, get us started here. So let's put some Parasso sensitive on my face. Throw the cap right into the water. Perfect, Heiko. Oh, way too much, way too much. Perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. Am I going to post this video? Way too much. <laughs> oh, missed a couple. Too late. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. Alright guys, this is all I miss kind of warm in here too. Radiant floor heating, I'm not used to that. It's way too warm here in the bathroom. Cool. Oh, alrighty guys, that's the first shave here in Germany. Gillette blade, Boca razor, some soap that I brought, uh, Rex Supply Company 1955 if you want to check it out. They have a few uh, soap and aftershave combos that are 1955-1966 I think. Uh, I haven't tried them out or I don't have much experience with it but um, seems to be good stuff no problems uh, and the razor worked out fine and the uh, next video look for uh, we're gonna look into the box from Artur and Artur oh my goodness that's pretty impressive that is a care package um, very nice very nice and there is a really fancy uh, Russian made razor so yeah, give you a little hint what that might be um, and we're going to look at that and then we're going to shave with that fancy razor uh, because I promised Artur that I'm going to send it back to him before I fly back to the US. All right, that's it for now. Imperfect lather, imperfect shave, all a little scatterbrained. But hey, hi, I'm in Germany. You guys take care. See you in the next one.